So we're moving on to solving more complicated looking equations now that involve e to the x. So this is the first example. e to the 2x minus 4 e to the x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, it's not going to be immediately apparent how we can solve this equation. However, you might spot it to being a quadratic. Now, it's not immediately obvious why it's a quadratic, but what you need to identify is that e to the 2x is the same as e to the x squared. So if I replaced e to the x with y, so if I let e to the x be equal to y, then I would have y squared minus 4y plus 3 is 0. And now you can plainly see that it is a quadratic. That can be factorised. y minus 3, y minus 1. And then I can put the e to the x back in. e to the x minus 3, e to the x minus 1. Now if you can go from that line to that line in one step, excellent. Okay? You don't have to show this intermediate working unless you want to. So then we either have e to the x is equal to 3, or e to the x is equal to 1, which means that x would have to be log 3, or x would have to be 0, log of 1, 0. And so they are the two solutions to the original problem. And unlike the previous examples with the logarithms, we don't have to worry so much about there not being... Uh, about these solutions for x not being correct because y is equal to e to the x has a domain that involves all real numbers without exception.